This is the third in a series of video tutorials for Harvest, the urban food production simulation plugin for UMI. In this third tutorial, we will talk about the contents of the urban footprint files. To be able to assess the sustainability of urban food production, you first need to study the existing supply chain from farm to city so that you have a baseline to compare your food production scenarios to. Based on this premise, we have developed the urban footprint method, which consists of gathering data on the food system for a given urban area and estimating the environmental impacts of this baseline. You can read more about the method in our open access paper in the International Journal of Design and Nature and Ecodynamics. The harvest workflow presented in previous tutorials showed that the urban footprint JSON file is one of the four inputs that you need for your harvest simulations. Here we will go through the contents of this JSON file and show you where to find data to build one for your city. The urban footprint file consists of a list of crops and for each crop three types of data entries have to be provided. Crop identification crop growth requirements, and supply chain information. Three data entries identify each crop, its name, its color, and the code of its template group. If you rename a crop, don't forget to rename it in the library template too and use the exact same name, including lower and upper cases. Color is the RGB color code of the crop group, you don't have to change it. And template group code is R for red crops, O for orange, LG for light green, and DG for dark green crops. Eight entries of the JSON file provide crop growth requirements to the harvest model. For these, you can simply use the values that are provided in the default urban food profiles downloaded with your plugin. These values were defined based on a literature review of scientific articles describing the settings and outcomes of controlled environment cultivation experiments conducted in growth chambers equipped with hydroponic systems. Change these values as you wish if you are an advanced user and you want to use your own data. Finally, 11 entries of the urban footprint file provide data on the existing supply for the crop to the city. You will need to collect this data for the city that you will be modeling. FAO Stat, the free online database of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, contains part of this data. There you will find yearly per capita supply of crops. You will also find data about trade. And by looking into import origins, you can calculate food miles, the distance that your crops travel to reach the city. FAO also has data on greenhouse gas emissions related to agriculture and on food losses and wastage that happen across the supply chain. Data on the water footprint of crops is available on the website and publications of the Water Footprint Network. Average retail price of crops vary throughout the year. You can either try to find reliable market data for your city or make assumptions based on prices in the main local stores. Finally, you will find wages of specialized farmers in your country's statistical reports and water rates on the website of your local water utility. On the UMI project tab, you will also need to update the price and emission factor of electricity according to the location of your project. And once you have all this data, you can upload your urban food profile into Harvest and run your simulation.